I wasn't able to catch the Lakers versus versus excuse me Houston Rockets game. So they played that game, and of course you saw the highlights with the Dylan Brooks antics going at uh, Vanderbilt, going at LeBron James, slap, smacking him across the face, and all of that. And of course with the Lakers, big team, big names, and you know that they're going to discuss them in you know on, on, on big media. So what happened yesterday on ESPN First Take? They were talking about the Lakers. They had Shannon Sharp on there. They had Kendrick Perkins on there. They had uh, Stephen A. Smith. And they were talking about the Lakers. And then it got to the point where Stephen A. Smith started to press Shannon Sharp on why he wasn't calling out LeBron for essentially being soft. Right? He's like, you're talking about Dylan Brooks. You're talking about all of that. You already knew what to expect with Dylan Brooks. He's like, but the fact that the matter is your man is soft. And then as the argument went on, Kendrick Perkins chimed in. And he was like, this is one of the reasons why. A lot of people will hold another thing against uh, LeBron when being compared to Jordan because they were like, Jordan will get in your face. Jordan's not going to tolerate all of this madness. And, you know, and, and and Stephen A. Smith doubled down on that exact point. And you could see Shannon Sharp beginning to get heated uh, during the argument. So what we want to do is want to play that exchange for you. It's a bit lengthy, but I want you guys to listen to it in its entirety. And I also want us to put up the image of Shannon's face and that whole kind of still of them. So you can see Shannon Sharp's expression because he was not happy uh, during that segment. So what we want to do, we want to play that for you guys now. And then we want to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to that there. And I believe he's a dirty player. That's me personally. That's one element of it. No disagreement there. I don't like the way Dylan Brooks did what he did last night. There's no doubt about it. But, Shay Shay, I'm very, very surprised. Actually, let me take that back. I'm not surprised that you left it at that. I'm not surprised that you didn't go any further because, I mean, go James. Far be it to, far be it for you to besmirch him in any way, Shay Shay. I mean, stop it. The fact of the matter is this. Houston whipped their ass last night. Can we get oh, that out of the way? That's not why they lost, no, no. though, bro. I, 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 mean, I understand, I understand okay. that, but what yeah. I said is you're usually complete with your takes. You right. were a bit short. Sure, you shortchanged your takes. The Lakers, right played, the Lakers were trash. Yeah, I, you want me to say the Lakers were trash? It's nice to hear you say it because you should have said it at the start, okay? But that, why? Hold, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't start that shit. I'm getting on you now because if it was anybody else, and listen, Kendrick Perkins, what would we have heard Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp say? You know what? The hell with that. You go low, we go high. You go low, I go to the basement. I go to the yeah, basement. Yeah. That's what he would say. Well, Dylan Brooks went low. Why didn't the Lakers go to the basement? How come you didn't bring that up, Shannon Sharp? You know why? Because you're a little bit, you get a little bit soft and sensitive when it comes to the goat James. That's why. And I'm getting on you about that. And you hold on right there. No, I like the glasses. I like the glasses there. But the point is, that's what you do. Here's the reality. We all know. Dylan Brooks, who Dylan Brooks is, we may not like it. Guess who knows it better than anybody? The Lakers and LeBron James. Then what you go out there and get your ass kicked for? How come he scored 17 points? How come they were busting y'all you know what? How come they won the game by 16 points? You know what you're going up against. This ain't the first time Dylan Brooks has been Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks has been Dylan Brooks for years. What did LeBron James do to Memphis in the postseason when Dylan Brooks was talking all of that smack last year? They spent the closeout game up by 40. Dylan Brooks was like, he ain't scoring 40. I mean, no, you just got beat by 40, okay? They destroyed the Memphis Grizzlies and sent them home. And class personified, which is LeBron James, what did he do? He walked off the court of that playoff game. Am I right, Big Perk? Walked off the court of that playoff game without even shaking hands or greeting anybody because he was so disgusted by Dylan Brooks and the way the Memphis Grizzlies were acting. And so he smoked them and sent them home. That's what you were supposed to do last night. But you did it. And by the way, the Houston Rockets are 22 and 24. The Lakers are a 500 team. They're basically one game behind. You're vying for this is a team that you have to compete with for one of the playoff spots. You know this going into the game, what you go out and get your ass kicked for. So I get what you're saying about Dylan Brooks. No argument there. It's absolutely true. He doesn't need to be trying that nonsense. But he repeatedly does it. You know he's going to do it. Well, what the hell are you going to do about it? Because I can't see nobody rolling up to Big Perk or Shay Shay and do, no, with a history of doing stuff, and then you roll up in there and you do it again and get away with it. Because you know why? Because if they go low, you're going to go to the basement. And I have to get back to Shannon Shaw. I, I am so disappointed. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Kendrick Perkins, this man is sitting up there. Our boy, Club Shay Shay, this man is sitting up there doing, that's football. Hell no. Dylan Brooks is Dylan Brooks. How come he's inflicting 
harm upon others, but somehow, some way, harm doesn't get inflicted upon him. How's he getting away with that? How's he getting but, away with that? But you have to understand, the Lakers don't have a guy like that. So if you don't have a guy like that, you don't ask LeBron to go take that out. You have somebody, hey, Dylan Brooks come down the lane, you go upside his head, and you open him up like a melon. And then you wouldn't have Man. to worry about Dylan Brooks no more. LeBron is 6'9", 260. I understand somebody else needs to do it. But especially if you're getting your ass kicked already, what's the harm in retribution? See. The fact of the matter is you got to inflict that yourself. When they, when they, when they and, go low, and, I go and, to the basement. And, I'm going to keep reminding you that. When and, they go and, low, and, I go and, to the basement. Yeah, But that oh, and, and but Shea, you have Shea, to understand, Stephen A. Go ahead, go ahead, Perk. Go ahead. No, Shay Shay, I, I just want to stop you, okay, because... See, Stephen A, let me tell you, he think he's slick as a can of oil. And right now, he's soaking this up. See, what, later down the line, at some point of this season, we're going to revisit that GOAT topic, right? And see, MJ, Jordan, he wasn't taking this type of nonsense. That's Jordan right. was getting your face. Jordan there was ready to throw blows. There we so go. when we come Speak. on here... We, we, when you come on here, you got to be prepared and make sure you be conscious of what you say. Don't when help it comes him out. Down what you trying to help him out for? Big Perk. What you trying to help him out for? LeBron James. Because he going he go to use it against you. He's trying to help out Shay Shay. But you have to That's understand. But you have to understand that was the era when you had x Men, oh, You had Anthony Mace. Man, they cleaned that up. They're not gonna let you. You think Adam Silver gonna let you go? Let you put your hands around somebody? Oh, 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 like oh, let me answer that. Let me answer that. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 supposedly, Goat James is Goat James, and as a result, the rules are a little bit different. If anybody can get away with it, it would be Goat James. I tell you what, I, you gonna deny that? You gonna deny that? your question. You remember what? when LeBron James got suspended when he caught Isaiah Stewart with an elbow? What oh, happened, Stephen? Oh, oh, please! You talking about Isaiah? You talking about that cat Isaiah running <laughs> no, around no, 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 after everybody about, jumping? That that's what I'm talking about. That by about twenty different people. Really? Yeah. You know, when it, when so you heard uh, the exchange there, right? Got pretty heated. Um, and Stephen A. Smith was basically calling out Shannon Sharp because Shannon Sharp is one of the people that was that's always been advocating when he go low, I go lower. When he go low, when I go lower. Uh, and Shannon at that point did not want to deal with the fact that uh, LeBron is not really somebody that's going to really defend himself, right? It's one of the reasons why a lot of people say uh, that he's a nice guy. To me, I don't personally understand it because LeBron James is how big LeBron is was six foot nine, seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Like he's a huge guy. I'm being facetious, obviously, but LeBron is huge, right? And to be having players, especially players that are smaller than him, you know, doing these kind of things to him is like when, when, when you know, when are you going to defend yourself? And that's what Stephen A. Smith was saying. When are you going to defend yourself? This is the same thing that was happening uh, when LeBron was in Miami Heat and they used to play against the Indiana Pacers and. Was it uh, not Danny? Uh, um, yeah, I think Danny Granger used to always go LeBron, man. It was like they're like, "Yo, defend yourself," and then people out in the media had to come out. Nah, well, you know, LeBron don't want to get into this and get into that. It's like, yo, bro, defend yourself. Nothing is gonna happen, and that's what we talked about yesterday on yesterday's show. On yesterday's show, when we talked about this very thing, I was like, "What's gonna happen if LeBron finally decided decided, excuse me, to retaliate against Dylan Brooks? What's gonna happen?" His, his image is going to be tarnished. He's going to start losing sponsors. Hell no. If anything, people are going to applaud him for finally standing up and defending himself.